I'm looking at something for me, adventure. Maybe of interest to you, in fact. Old plots within Mister to be auctioned off. You, me, hells, even a twelve stem wandering Mistel, Mistel could purchase their own piece of Lenosha. And upon that plat of land, you'd be free to build a house for, for you and yours. You can't tell me that the thought isn't at least slightly appealing, can you? It's a bit surprising that the last Alisocracy. The time and resources to prepare such an area, but with the kobolds and the primals causing all manner of trouble. Uh, ocean rulership. Grassy meaning a rulership this system. The lasso referring to the sea. Lassophobia is fear of the deep ocean, which is an understand fear. Phobias are supposed to be irrational. I don't think there's anything irrational being afraid of. But who am I to judge the priorities of politicians, much less pirates, eh? Besides, I'd like nothing more than to own my own home. I've yet to verify the truth of the tale just yet, though. If you've no objections to taking a detour from your adventures, why not head towards the gate to Mist and see if there's a Maelstrom representative? Farmer deny these land auctions. Call me the Stead Shepherd. But all three kinds of livestock we free we breed here fall under my crook. Nevertheless. Sleep shall remain, sheep shall, nevertheless, sheep remain my first love, my one true passion. Are you Welsh? You can imagine my dismay at finding my flock in frumpy fleece. I can't very well take worn out wool to market. Sheep with no shine is good for nothing but mutton. But where there's wool, there's a way. Let's see what Chartain has to say. lifetime of meticulous research into the ag advancement of the agricultural arts has taught me anything is that the fruits of knowledge are incapable of preserving themselves. Without an adventurer's brawn to protect them, I fear all my work will come to naught. Take, for example, the splendid ogre pumpkin crop I was able to cultivate. Years of hypothesizing and testing at last made tangible, only to be snatched away by those subterranean sorners, the clever hedge moles. Already engineered the pumpkins to resist fire, drought, frost, weeds, insects, and festive rituals. I just need someone to kill the moles. Okay, well. Mr. Stead. Important, what it's actually called. What is important? What is it, adventure? Ah, yes, the auctions. Order of the Admiral herself missed in all plots within her to be sold exclusively to adventurers, so as to encourage their immigration to Limsa Limitsa. My older adventurers, you ask? Practical necessity, really. Limsa Limitsa is in dire need of fresh blood, capable, courageous adventurers who will fight her foes and protect her interests. Home here will have that much more incentive to aid us. As for that, what manner of place Mist is? I think it's best that you journey there and see for yourself. Please direct any other questions you might have to the recruit station just past the entrance. Proceed with the quest where the heart is missed. You may visit any residential ward within Mist. So this is one of the three. Um, residential areas that were part of the original expansion. There's been a couple of other ones added since. Each of Gridania, so each of um, Lenosha, Thanalan, and Forests. The 
Black Shroud have their own residential area. Greetings, adventurer, and welcome to the mist. Ah, Leninson sent you, you say? Ah, that's unfortunate. All Leninsons are barred from participating in the auctions you see on account of the fact that they're, well, Leninson. Admiral's degree. If you find the area of your liking, though, please consider speaking with the resident caretaker. She can guide you through the process of purchasing a plot for yourself. So, actually purchasing a house is stupidly expensive, and you need to get lucky and actually find one available. Um, mostly they're bought up and there's so it's a it's a location that you can like have a bunch of NPCs and there are a couple of NPCs that can only exist in your house and they stock items that are either not available anywhere else or not available like collectively in one place anywhere else i've never bought one myself but on my main my guild has a house and they're really useful like you can have summoning bells and market boards and all varieties of crafting vendors all in one place um, they're really useful hubs to just hang out for one like you can get a orchestrian role and have your choice of music playing in the house at all times and you can decorate it how you want it's just a bit of There's uses, and then there's, like, cosmetic aspects to it. Uh, next time I'm on my main, just tell me to show you the FC house. There you are. What news have you brought me? Purposes of luring adventurers to Limsa Lominsa. It's unfortunate. But it does explain a great deal. Like my dream of owning my own home will have to wait a little longer. Don't you worry about me. My day will come soon enough. But the um, short answer is yes. There's a point. And I'm not surprised you have not acquired a house yet. They're kind of hard to get. So with Ishgard housing district open, they might be getting a little easier. Ogrim had some little lambs whose fleece were white as snow, but everywhere the little lambs myths went, lice were sure to go. Now we're stuck with lousy sheep. The time it takes me to brush one clean, the lice spread to two more. I just can't keep up with them by myself. If you could brush three shaggy sheep for me, we might be able to wipe out the infestation altogether. Let Mogram know his sheep are in ship shape once you're finished. Brush sheep, brush. Brushy. Click the button, brushy. Shaggy Sheep looks relieved. Question number two. That sheep also looks relieved. And number three. Similarly relieved.
an adventurer, you certainly know how to wield a lice comb. Or you have found sheep are delicate souls that require delicate care. Truly wonderful world that requires time, love, and tenderness. You must caress their coats ever so gently, listen to their soft bleeding in your ear, feel the warmth of their breath on your neck. Uh, this guy might be a little too fond of sheep. I call it the red rooster stead, but make no mistake, dodos are the birds that keep this stead steady. Sweet and tender eggs, that succulent meat. So long as you relieve, remove a dodo's ling's poison glands, you're in for some scrumptious and healthy poultry. So delicious, I have to remind myself some birds just aren't meant to be caged. Or perhaps I don't. Talk to Zapayan and see if we can't return those exquisite creatures to their pen. Whack a mole. Ah. Ever pleased to see you. I was about to cry foul, but with your help we can round them up. These dim-witted dodos pecked through the fencing and flew the coop. Or, fled the coop. Luckily, they know better than to leave the stead. There are three bolting dodos in all. If you spot one, just throw one of these dodo-sized sacks over its head. Got all the birds, would you mind leaving them in Mulgrim's care? I need to repair the fencing before we can return them to this enclosure, you see. Hunt begin. Number one. I mean, dismounting's not that difficult to do, you just gotta remember to do it. Just gotta hit C. But yes, I get your point. I'd rather not have to think about it and just... I am mounted and I would like to use this item. Please dismount me. Just push the button, vamp. Wrong button. Yeah, while also... Wow also made you dismount if you got attacked. So I would like to not import that because I quite enjoy running through hordes of enemies and ignoring them because I'm... I'm Sonic. Heard everything. Hand me the dodos. Oh, my precious darlings, without your poison breath, they're defenseless out in the wild. Daddy Dodo got so worried. Dodos have another daddy. Stay around and look after my babies, won't you? At least until they're right for slaughter. No. I'm... No. 
That was so easy, it makes me wonder why I've spent my life formulating complex solutions to problems rather than merely going around and killing things. Nevertheless, I'm afraid it's too late to alter my methods now. I'll continue to focus on the complex solutions and have you stick around and kill things. What hubris, what arrogance to believe that I, one woman alone, could overcome the unfettered vast and profound mysteries of nature. But with you here, I'm sure we can do it. But now, lady. Characters partake in the inexorable march of silence. The concoction I'm currently formulating could change horticulture as we know it. Imagine a fluid one could strew over crops to ward off pests. All I need are some ladybugs and someone to squash them. Ladybugs simply cannot resist aphids. Find some aphid lavender, dab it with a bit of aphid nectar, and they'll come swarming to the slaughter. Seems kind of rude. What ladybugs ever do to you? First someone wants to be me to be their do uh, dodo daddy, and now someone wants me to be mean to ladybugs. I have them, lady. You said to return once you've gotten the ladybug viscera. It's elementary, really. Aphids live in fear of ladybugs, and so applying the scent of ladybug blood to our crops is certain to water off the parasites. We are manipulating the laws of nature. Of course, we could just have just let the ladybugs go on defending the crops as always and not squash them for their viscera, but I hardly see the science in that. Very monster. Did I have to beat up a bunch of ladybugs to screw their guts over the plants to keep away things that the ladybugs already keep away? What the hell? Eastern Lenosha. Party. Salted intelligence, which is why we're here. Now, what do we not forget to do the moment we get to town? That's right, attuned to the etherite. Forgot once, and that will be the only time. Blah, blah, blah. Are you looking to make yourself useful? I'm Nock Tar, a representative of the Adventurers Guild. As the lead meet stationed here and close to the soul, it's my job to match capable adventurers to the tasks that have come in from the locals. I start loading up with dangerous field work immediately, but I'm required to assess your suitability for handling the sort of threats you might encounter. Take a good look at the tasks outlined in this guild leave. Are you willing to try your hand at this trial? 
Last evening on his nightly walk through the jungle, Master Gegaruju was assaulted by a beetle who shrewdly maneuvered himself directly under my lord's bare left foot as he stepped down from the sand. Needless to say, the master was infuriated and has since ordered the slaying of every creature in the area so that no other might experience the suffering he did. Adventurers are sought to carry out his orders and, as always, money is no object. Very well. I'm certain you're already aware of this, but you'll likely encounter hostile creatures in the area. Be sure you're properly armed and armored before beginning your task. So, let me see if I've got this right, Gekaruchu. You stepped on a beetle, therefore everything must die. Is that it? We got it? We understand each other? Good. You're a... Have you considered not stepping on beetles? your coffer. Yeah, yeah, sometimes you'll run into... Hey, get off your mount, sir. Sometimes you'll run into... Treasure coffers in leaves. They have super duper ultra mega treasures. They're really just treasures. One of four down. Where are you? Ah, two of Show yourself. We have four, and then we just need to get over here. Not even really worth using the teleport back at this point. Last one, come on. So we can go ahead and hand this in. As expected, you manage the task without too much difficulty. Don't forget to collect your reward. The pittance. See? I knew you'd be able to do it. Coastal Basol welcomes your continued cooperation. Not even breaking a sweat, man. So those are one of the leave quests that are actually important to do, because that's one of the places that you can get uh, Crafter and Gatherer leaves. Maybe Gatherer. I know Crafter. 